Across Hampton Roads, hundreds of students are starting the year right where they left off in the previous grade. After a year of mostly virtual learning, I wanted to know whether the number of kids held back a grade significantly changed. In Virginia Beach, the answer is yes. Here's what the school system is doing to change that. Virginia Beach City Public Schools held back about 1.7 times the number of students this year compared to the previous three. Of course I'm concerned. Concerned, but not surprised. That's Chief Academic Officer Dr. Kip Rogers. The pandemic year last year, the full year, was extremely challenging. As a result, data from the school system shows about 1,900 students had to repeat a grade. That number averaged about 1,000 the previous three years. I talked to Virginia Beach Education Association President Kathleen Slindy about whether that concerns her as a teacher. Not really, because I really trust the, the teachers, the educators, and the evaluators to, to be making these decisions decisions with a lot of data. The increase in students retained is lower in the elementary school grades, which tracks with Slindy's training. Early childhood in particular, um, we the, the research just simply shows that um, retaining a child is not the best way to make progress. When the decision is made to hold a student back, Slindy says parents should look at it this way. The gift of time. Let's give them some more time to get these concepts and to grow in this, and they'll be stronger. Going into the school year, Roger says the system's summer learning program was especially robust. It addressed some of those skills that may have been uh, unfinished from the previous year to better prepare them for success this school year. And now students in grades 6 through 12 also have 24-7 access to virtual live tutors and core subjects. With those supports and extra effort, both Rogers and Slindy believe any learning setbacks will be temporary. Our kids are stronger than and than we might think and certainly a lot more resilient. As all those pieces come back together, they're going to race ahead. They're going to make progress and they'll do it uh, probably catching up much faster than we ever thought they would. I asked all seven public school systems in Hampton Roads to show me how, student, how many students they held back this year compared to the three prior. Hampton, Chesapeake, and Newport News stayed about the same. Suffolk, Norfolk, and Portsmouth said summer school would impact their numbers, so they have not released them yet.